Hi guys, Luckfuck here and welcome to the FIFA 19 player review and today I'm going to be reviewing the 85 rated second in form Lozano. He has got a fantastic looking card and he did cost me 95,000 coins and in the four games that I played him with he did score me one goal and got me one assist and he does have a four star weak foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving along into his in-game stats, his main stats are going to be his 96 acceleration, his 96 agility, his 88 dribbling and finally his 84 ball control I just had the regular basic camps that applied to him. I was going to apply a camps out to him but I ended up just forgetting and not doing it in the end. Also guys thank you very much for 7,000 YouTube subscribers it is very much appreciated I think we hit it on Monday evening, Tuesday morning, something like that which is absolutely fantastic so I really really do appreciate that and also I have now teamed up with G2A I'm going to leave a link to them in the description feel free to use that link and it will take you to the website and then you obviously can buy stuff like uh, cheap Microsoft points, cheap games obviously with Christmas coming up they've got lots of deals and stuff like that on which is absolutely fantastic so feel free to follow that link in the description. Anyway, focusing on Lozano, his car looks absolutely fantastic. Does cost quite a lot. I mean, you know, no disrespect to Mexico and the Dutch League. They're not the greatest. I mean, they're okay, don't get me wrong, but they're not, like, incredible. So I had to use him as a uh, as a super sub from um, from pretty much, like, the first minute. And I have to say, part of me loved this car. And then there was other parts that... Uh, and in particular, his finishing that just weren't good enough whatsoever. But we're going to focus on his pros. His first one's going to be his pace. He is absolutely rapid. 96 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. The basic chemistry does actually take him to 96 sprint speed as well. 87 stamina as well, which is fantastic. I didn't feel like he got that tired for me. Obviously, it's uh, ideal to make sure that you go into every game with pretty much minimum 90 fitness. But uh, if you got lot, of, you know, if you got lots of fitness cards, I just go into every game with 99 fitness, just as a bit of a, uh, you know, just to kind of cover your and back but uh, absolutely fantastic when it came to his pace really able to kind of get away from uh, opposition players with ease you could really really tell that honestly felt absolutely um, you know just so so quick off the mark and over a long period of time like he'd be able to keep up his pace throughout a long period it wasn't just like a quick burst of acceleration um, so it was absolutely fantastic it was able to get him to a lot of really good positions inside the box couldn't fault his pace it was absolutely fantastic and the second pro is going to be his dribbling 96 agility is absolutely fantastic with the basic chemistry let's go to 97 agility 80 balance is fine as well. It's not too bad. Though I thought it was going to be higher than 80 balance, but still, that's fine. 88 in game dribbling, 84 ball control. Absolutely fantastic. Again, love that part about Lozano. He is a relatively short player at uh, 5 foot 9. So, uh, yeah, he feels fantastic on the ball. Doesn't feel sluggish. Um, just in general, feels a really, really good player to use. So, obviously, his dribbling, his pace, very nice. That's going to be into the, the pros. In terms of his cons, he's only got one con, and it's a real big one for me, and that's going to be his finishing. Now, I don't know what it was, but he just wouldn't score for me. And the goal he did score was a massive deflection into the back of the net and um, was just a really, really lucky goal. But I had countless shots with this guy. And don't get me wrong, a lot of the time he was hitting the target, but sometimes chances which he should be at minimum hitting on the target were going completely wider than that. And it wasn't down to my fault whatsoever. The way I was trying to use the accuracy of the shot was fine. It was just, in my opinion, Lozano's finishing just wasn't up to scratch whatsoever. Don't get me wrong, his finishing stats look decent at 80. 84 finishing, 85 attack positioning, 83 shot power. But is that good enough for around 100,000 coins for this card? I don't think it personally is. I don't really think this card represents value overall. Uh, do I think he'll go down in price? My answer is yeah, I do. But I think there's just so much hype around this guy, mainly because obviously, you know, Castro kind of... Um, Castro 1021 kind of hypes this card up so much, but um, yeah, I don't honestly stay clear of this card, guys. I mean, I reviewed him for Mares last week, and I much preferred him. You know, I much preferred the player of the month, Lucas, and this card just didn't fit, didn't fit my team whatsoever, and I don't think it would fit a lot of your guys' teams. I just don't think, I honestly think he's an overrated card, both IRL and in FIFA, I really do, and um, yeah, in my opinion, I just stay clear of him. I don't think he represents value, and I don't think he's that good to use in FIFA 19. But anyway, guys, that's going to finish up this both of you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.